Welcome back to Classical Grooming. Today we're going to talk about the iconic fragrance, Brut. So Brut was developed back in 1968 by Carl Mann. And as I was growing up through the 70s and even into the 80s, it was a staple among some of the men in my family. It's struck me as being sweet yet rugged and there was something um, very masculine about it. And of course you can get it today. Today it's become more of a drugstore favorite. Uh, and they kind of have aftershave and cologne, right? And you can pick it up for anywhere from four to ten dollars depending on where you get it and how much you get. It's not quite the same, but it's still good. So let's go ahead and dig into the notes and we'll go from there. So the top notes are lavender, anise, bergamot, basil, and lemon. The middle notes are geranium, jasmine, and ylang ylang. And the base notes are oak moss, patchouli, vetiver, tonka bean, sandalwood, and vanilla. So when you first put it on, you get um, something not particularly floral. Honestly, Brut, it's, it's really hard to point out any one particular note. It's so well developed and nothing really stands out, at least to my nose, except it smells sweet, it smells green, and it's got a little bit of an incense feel to it. I'm not saying it smells like incense, but it, you, the, it kind of prickles the nose a little bit like incense does. And the aftershave goes on really well. It soothes, it conditions well, and it lasts for about, I'm going to say, hour, hour and a half. The cologne will last you four hours, unless you put it on clothing. And the beauty of Brut, this, this particular version of Brut, which I need to dig into, is that the, the bottle's green, but the solution is clear. So you can put it on clothing without, a wor without concerns of staining the clothes, and it will last you all day. Now, what kind of brute are we talking about? Because this is the brute you get in the States. However, there is a different brute. Made by Unilever, also known as Parfums Prestige, I think. Uh, to my knowledge, this is the European version of Brut. It smells nearly identical, except once it goes on, it's a little less green and a little more sweet. And this will last you again three hours on skin. If you want to take a chance and put it on clothes, because it is—it's got some dye in there. Uh, although I put it on colored clothing and I really haven't had to worry about it, it'll last you about five or six hours. So, some have said that this actually smells closer to the vintage than the American version, and I would disagree, but I can't really swear to it because I'm going off of memory. Personally, I think the greenness of the original American version is closer to the original, but still not quite there. So, how can we fix that? Well, you can substitute. Now, I'm not saying that Pinod Clubman original aftershave smells like Brut, but if I use this as an aftershave and I use this as the cologne, it's a little closer. I think the oak moss in this plus some of the sharper green notes brings me back to my memory of what Brut is supposed to be. But you say, that's not good enough for me. I want something that's a little bit more true to the original vintage formulation. Fair enough. You can get dupes, duplicates, and a Phoenix Artisan's Accoutrements is one of them. They, this is their version Et Tu, based off of Et Tu Brute, which is, I guess, their little inside joke. It's pretty darn good. Now this is their um, is their balm. This is what they call 
a star jelly aftershave and it's it well I take it back it's more like a gel and we'll, well I really like to talk to you about the star jelly stuff that they've made but that'll be it for another another day their splash is way closer this is good I'm not knocking it but the splash is much more like the original brute than the gel jelly is okay and then of course you can try Avon now this is discontinued but you can find lots of it and Avon made a duplicate called Thai Winds smells like brute a little heavier on the vanilla so it's not a perfect duplicate but it still smells great so if you're tooling around and you can find some Thai Winds out there take it for a spin and see if it, it scratches your brute itch then of course there's the real thing, the real vintage. Now this is not the 1968 version, but this is still Fabergé Brut. Before Fabergé uh, sold the Brut and took off the name. And this is, much, this is closer to the uh, 60s and 70s version. This is Brut 33. This is essentially a diluted version of Brute used as a splash on aftershave or lotion. <sighs> they are wonderful. They're, they still don't quite fill me into what I remember in the 70s, so they're probably a reformulation of that, but they're still good. Do they smell like what we uh, can buy at the drugstore today? Yes and no. The notes are the same. Just like I talked about when I compared the vintage version of Elizabeth Taylor's Passion for Men, uh, the vintage and the new one, the notes are the same, but the quality of the notes is just superior. Uh, the way the uh, different notes tickle the nose and the impression that they give to the brain as you inhale them is just something different. Now, the problem with... Wow. The problem with going out and buying vintage versions is these bottles are anywhere from 25 to 40 years old. So there's no guarantee that they're going to smell exactly the same as when you bought them new. And in fact, you might lose a large amount, amount of the top notes and it smells nothing like the original. So you, you take your chance when you do that. They're not particularly expensive. You can still go on eBay and get some of this stuff. But there's always a chance you're going to get a, a bad bottle. So that's my review of Brute and ways that you can work to get a more authentic Brute experience. You can buy it from the drugstore, still good. You can buy the European version. You can buy the duplicates, which are out there from Phoenix Artisans Accoutrements, Avon or others. Or you can shop around and buy the original stuff. All of them are good. Some are better than others. And for the price that you can get the drugstore brew, I still wear it. Not every day, but I usually take it for a spin once a week. And I'm happy with it. So out of all of them, since the original is the one easiest to buy, I'm going to give that a rating of three out of five, uh, three and a half out of five and um, I'm going to enjoy taking it for a spin and I'm going to save the vintage versions and duplicates for uh, days when I want to just impress a little bit more. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this. I really enjoy Brute myself. It's not a daily driver for me but I like to again take it and wear it about once a week just because it is a wonderful fragrance. Thank you for stopping by. If you enjoy reviews of classical products or modern products through a classical lens, please subscribe.